Hi, it's Ask Dr. Ben. Uh, next question comes to us from Nikki. Hello, Nikki. All right. Uh, hi, Dr. Ben. How's it going? Okay. Um, hoping to get a quick answer on this is my daughter wants to have friends around at the weekend. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So, uh, so Nikki is saying that Nikki is vulnerable. Um, uh, two autoimmune diseases, uh, autoimmune suppressant plus a massive uh, clotter uh, to boot. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah, that's all right. That's not great. Yeah, those, those would both be um, pre-existing conditions that would predispose you to potentially uh, having a worse time with COVID, although there's so many parts between actually catching it and those things taking effect that you can't, yeah, you can't guarantee it's just hedging things a little bit. It's turning turning a couple of the dials up that, uh, yeah, may eventually lead to something or may not, yeah. Um, but I like that you're being careful. I like that you're aware. I like that you're asking these questions. Okay, my 14-year-old daughter. Oh my gosh, I have a 13-year-old daughter. Yeah, okay, is getting frustrated. It's her friend's birthday, and I have offered the girls uh, to have the girls here so I can supervise social distancing. Yeah, you know, I, I like that. And um, I, I know, and you know, that visits and uh, in particular sleepovers oh my gosh are yeah the most important currency i think in this world other than at the moment dogs but i feel like that may be our house not every house yeah wow <laughs> i wish i could show you darwin here he's uh, he is really filled out <laughs> he's still a little little tiny corgi all right um anyway so we have a hot tub highly chlorinated you yeah, know good but uh, small yeah um, really only three girls can go in, but I think the concern is the girls breathing each other's breath. Exactly. You've hit the nail on the head. One of them suggested that they wear material masks in there. Oh. So surely if the masks are soaked in chlorinated water, yeah, the chlorine doesn't really help. It's, it's the mask that's doing the work there. Um, uh, surely it can't be transferred in. To, uh, yeah. In science, never say can't. Everything is possible if you try hard enough. Yeah, the key is to not try hard enough <laughs> in this particular case. Um, uh, yeah. Um, and so, yeah, with a mask in a hot tub, so you're closer than you should be, but you're presumably outside. I don't know. Maybe you're inside, maybe you're outside. Um, but you're wearing a mask and so <laughs> I feel like we've gone to a place where there is not a lot of scientific data uh, to back this up. I have not seen any hot tub time machine uh, papers uh, come out recently. <laughs> if they did, we'd just go back to before COVID and maybe do something different this time. <laughs> um, yeah, I like what you're thinking. And yeah, it seems like they're wearing a mask and they're in a hot tub. I don't think the chlorine's a big factor, but I do think the mask is a big factor, and I think um, I think that is much safer than not wearing a mask. That's that's about as far as the science can take us. Uh, yeah, it seems like something you could probably get away with and do reasonably safely. Nothing is safe in this world when you have people close together anymore. And isn't that terrible? Yeah. People really like being close together. But, oh, uh. So, um, not safe, but maybe safe enough. Maybe safe enough. Yeah, I, I think you can probably get away with it. That's what we're talking about here. So, yeah, all right. There's, there's my, yeah. <laughs> totally, totally unqualified to give hot tub advice advice <laughs> for you <laughs> based on my uh, vast vast hot tub experience um <laughs> i just hope everything goes all right i hope uh, everybody has a good time and stays safe and um yeah that's 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 as close as i can get to this thing with science uh it sounds like fun i wish we had a hot tub that i could go in uh, tonight maybe um Thank you very much. This is Ask Dr. Ben.